Hi, this is Aaron with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're going to be in Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom. We're going to be dining at said Tuli's Canteen here in the world of Avatar. We're going to be going through the Valley of Mawara, and we're going to tell you everything that you need to know about this restaurant, what the food's like, what the atmosphere's like, and if it's a place you should dine on your next Walt Disney World vacation. All that coming right up. So Setuli's Canteen is located in Animal Kingdom, in the world of Pandora. You can find this by entering into the Animal Kingdom, going directly left, and going all the way to the end of the park, uh, which is right where Flight of Passage is, which is the, the newest, sort of most popular, one of the most popular rides in Animal Kingdom. Uh, and right at the gift shop, right at the exit of the gift shop, Setuli Canteen is right next to it. And here in Pandora, it's a wonderful, beautifully themed area. You'll see the floating mountains of Moara. That's beautiful bioluminescent forests. Great place to go at night as well because there's so many visual effects that you get to see. And basically, this is themed after the movie Pandora. And if you're somebody who loved the movie, you'll definitely enjoy this area. And if you're somebody who didn't, I think you'll still enjoy it. There's some just really beautiful things you get to see here. It's very well done. So atmosphere and theming. This is a quick service restaurant, so you're gonna go up to get your food. Don't forget to mobile order. I know during the pandemic, it's basically all mobile ordering, but it is much faster when they bring back regular ordering. It is themed as a resource development administration or RDA mess hall that was turned into Setuli's canteen. And that means it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a concrete military bunker that's been turned into uh, Setuli's canteen where travelers to Pandora can enjoy some local food and check out the Navi items and artwork. This is both indoor and outdoor. Indoor seating is pretty large, you have about 300 guests, but that said, it gets very busy and loud as it is sort of themed after a military mess hall uh, for the most part. We, uh, we do find Animal Kingdom to be a very hot park, so we usually try to find indoor seating and enjoy a bunch of that air conditioning during the summer. <laughs> One of our other favorite dining locations, if you want more of a sit-down dining in Animal Kingdom, is Tiffin's. This is a great sit-down dining location, and they also have a great lounge called the Nomad Lounge that's attached, and highly suggest you check out that video if you're looking for a sit-down restaurant in Disney's Animal Kingdom. So on to menu. This menu does have healthier food options with a bunch of grains, fresh vegetables, and proteins. There's also vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options. The main items on their menu is to create your own satuli bowl. You get to choose your base, sauce, and protein. There is grilled beef, chicken, shrimp, and tofu. The costs are usually about $13 to $17. And a pro tip would be to ask for the sauces on the side. We do tend to find that sometimes they oversauce your food, uh, and you might just want to have less or even more. Uh, we have heard mixed reviews of the sauces, though. Uh, we haven't tried them ourselves. Another super popular, and I would say the reason why you go to said Tuli Camp Canteen, is for the steamed pod bao buns. These are offered on both the adult and children's menu, and we'll talk a bit more about that shortly. The kids' menu also has protein bowls, quesadillas, and more. They cost around $8, and also my favorite meal when I go there. Satuli Canteen also has some great unique beverages. They offer both alcoholic and non-alcoholic uh, beverages. Uh, specifically, the Pandora Sunrise is great. If you get the Navi Flute Cup for $12.49 or without the cup for $4.49. And it's a blend of tropical juices, including pineapple, mango, lime, lemon, and pineapple garnish. I am a sucker for beverages <laughs> when it comes to, you know, fruit style beverages or really anything. Uh, so, you know, I'm a big fan of some of the drinks that you can get here on a very hot day. We're usually here in the summer. So, you know, grabbing one of those Pandora sunrises to cool down is definitely a must. So what we usually have here is, of course, the cheeseburger steamed pods. Those are bao buns, and they're $11.49. They're steamed cheeseburger pods stuffed with ground beef, ketchup, mustard, pickle, and cheddar cheese, served with crunchy vegetable slaw and vegetable chips. Now, just so you know, these are pre-assembled, so you can't take out, for instance, the ketchup or the mustard uh, or the cheese. Uh, I do have a dairy allergy for the most part, so I generally can't have this. Had it a few times, really great. I know Linda is a huge fan as well as everybody we've come here with. 
Uh, what I go with is the Kids Telu, which is an all beef hot dog wrapped in dough. It's $7.26, and it's an all beef hot dog wrapped in Parker House dough, served with vegetable straws and cuties, mandar mandarins, and a small Dasani bottle of water or low fat milk. And this is basically a hot dog wrapped in a pretzel, <laughs> and it's really good. Uh, we've also had the chocolate cake here, which is $5.29, and that's a crunchy cookie layer and banana cream topping. And if I didn't mention it, the all beef hot dog is $7.29. Now for those with specific dietary requirements, uh, there is dairy in the hot dog. Uh, there is dairy in the cheese pods as well. So unfortunately, uh, they do have some of the allergens that you may not be able to have inside of those. But the build your bowl option allows you to customize your food however you want. And you can build a pretty appetizing bowl uh, for a bunch of different allergies uh, here at this restaurant. So it's a pretty good one for overall allergens. And there is also an allergy menu that you can ask for. So on to value and price, the portion size here and the price is basically what you'd expect for a quick service in Disney. It's around $14 per adult, depending on what you have to drink, and about $7 for kids. We found the food here to be fresh. There is enough variety that we get something that we want. There isn't a huge variety though on the menu for kids or for adults, basically bowls, the pods and the hot dogs <laughs> and there's a bunch of desserts but there's also a bunch of really great beverages so if you're looking for a drink this could be a great place to just sort of sit down have a few adult beverages uh, or you know your kids can have some of the other beverages there is a nice option for a meal that's not too expensive if it's got air conditioning you can grab some good beverages so overall from a value and price perspective it's on par for what you'd expect for other disney world uh, quick service restaurants but you get a bit of extra theming and those cheese pods and the hot dog if you are able to have them are amazing so definitely recommend doing that so a few tips and overall recommendations currently you do require a park reservation to eat here it is important to note that when it does get busy, if you want to sit inside, you will need to buy food. They will check for an order. Uh, additionally, if you have allergies, let them know. There's a very detailed allergy guide, and those bowls are very useful for people with allergies uh, or who are on specific diets. Unfortunately, the, the pods and the hot dog, which are probably the main reasons to go here, especially with kids, uh, are not allergy friendly specifically. So that may affect your decision to dine here. Um, also, do take advantage of the mobile ordering. Mobile ordering speeds things up. I know right now everybody's mobile ordering and it's not great. Uh, however, as things hopefully get back to normal, uh, the mobile ordering is definitely a good key for you to get your food quicker. And remember, if you are ordering for multiple people, do send a few people to pick up the food. Uh, I once tried to pick up four orders by myself and uh, it didn't go well, although the cast member did help. Uh, personally, we really enjoy the bao buns here. I don't always get to eat them because, again, I do have a da dairy allergy and I try to be very strategic on what I eat. Uh, so sometimes, you know, usually this actually makes the cut and I'll want to eat some of the bao buns or the hot dog here. Uh, however, Linda loves it and everybody we've ever brought here loves it. Uh, I know, you know, the Internet always loves it. Uh, however, we thought we could give you a couple extra tips. Uh, and we thought that it would be good to know about the allergy section of this, that both of those uh, pods, uh, you can't really customize them and the hot dog you can't customize. And there is allergies in both of those. You do have cheese, you have mustard. Uh, and then on the um, hot dog, you do have egg. Uh, and again, I would check the allergy guide when you get there because these things do change. So there you have it, that's Satouli's Canteen in Animal Kingdom. Let us know what you think of this video. Let us know what you think of Satouli's Canteen. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it one of your favorite places to eat here? Would you recommend other people eat here? Or would you pass by and never go in? So let us know in the comments what you think. Please, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and happy travels. Yeah.